Well, I can't see anything wrong with her physically. Her temperature's normal, her throat's fine. I thought you'd say that. Has someone upset you? Is that why you won't speak? Are you frightened of something? We can't help you unless you tell us what's wrong. Do you want me to go out of the room? Then you can talk to Siobhan on your own. I need to speak to your daddy. There's some cans in the fridge. Go and get yourself one. Well, it looks like she's made a conscious decision not to talk, in which case it's probably psychological and I can't deal with that. She's never been like this before. Such a happy little thing. Sorry I can't help you further. Best thing to do is take her to your GP and see what they have to say. Yeah, I will. <laughs> well, they're going to find out why she's not speaking and get her to talk. We don't know that. She's not going to keep quiet forever. Sooner or later, she's going to say something. Yeah, I know. I mean, no one believed Daz when he said he'd seen us, but we're not going to get away with it again. So what are you saying? Look, let's get out of here. We've been through this. I know, but you could get a job anywhere. So can I. But we've just got to stay calm. But Rob, I can't handle it anymore. I can't live like this. It's going to blow up in our faces. It's going to be awful. We've got a plan. Let's stick to it. Yeah, and what happens when Victoria says something? Then we'll deal with that. How? Because I can't take much more. Yes, you can. We've just got to stay strong and help each other. Come here. What did the doctor say? You know, I brought up you and Andy and I thought I understood kids. But not this. What did he say? What? He agreed with Siobhan. It's psychological. Got to take it to a specialist. It can't be that bad, can it? Can't it? A bubbly little girl who's so upset she won't say a word. Well, she'll be okay. It's Victoria. She'll come through it. You know, if she'd broken her leg, they'd put a pot on it and fix it. But this, 